So now I have my little joining table, people's things. And I'll remind you that has person ID and thing ID in it. And I have thing, which has the information about each of my objects. Um, and I want to somehow query both of them um, and pull out the thing IDs that go with a certain person from this table. Okay. So I'm going to go back over in my PHP and I'm going to make a new page. Let's see, new file. Let's call this whose things PHP. And a lot of the querying I'm doing is going to be the same as what I did um, oops, in show things. So I'm going to go and grab this and steal it and use that as a starting point. Because really the main thing I'm going to be changing is the query here. So I don't know what I'm going to write in here yet, but I'm going to leave that. And the rest of this stuff is going to be the same if there's not a result. I have a problem, I have to log in, I have to connect. Um, if there's no rows, I'm going to say there's no things return. I'm going to run something. I know I'm going to want the op the objects or the things information, so I'm going to grab those pieces out, echo them out on the screen. Um, but now i got to work out how do I query basically both tables at the same time. I'm going to go in here and use the little SQL uh, window to sort of construct what I'm trying to do um, to see if it's going to work. So let's see here. In my people's things table, I only have the person with ID 1 having any things. So I'm going to just write a query that looks for what things person 1 owns. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select everything from um, both tables. So I'm going to select from thing, comma, people's things. And I'm going to say do that where people's things dot person ID equals uh, one and people's things dot thing ID equals thing dot thing ID. So I'm saying go into this first table and find anywhere the person ID is one and then go into both tables and match up the thing IDs. So I'm going to grab the, the basically the thing that goes with this person and find all the things details from the other table. Let's run this to see if it get stuff. And I do, so that's cool and that works. So I'm going to go back and grab this. I'm going to copy it so I don't lose it. And I actually want to do a test. I'm going to put in people's things I want to add some stuff so we can see if this is really working or not. So let's give person two a thing. Let's give it just one item. We'll give it a book. Okay. So if I look in this guy now, person one has thing IDs one and two. Person two just has thing ID one. So let's go back and run this query again to make sure it's working correctly. And I should just get the stuff for person one. Yeah, I did. Cool. Okay, so let's go back into the PHP page and put this query in here. Okay, and I really still just want the thing information, so I'm going to go above this. I'm going to say, okay, uh, person one has these things. Okay, let's go and refresh this and look at the new page whose things, person one has these things, one a book, two a soda, just to convince ourselves it works, let's make sure this works when I'm looking at just the ID2 and then we should only get a book, let's see, oh, let me change my sentence here, person two, okay, reload this thing, yes, person two has just a book, so that's um, one way, if I know the specific um, person I'm aiming for, how to grab their items um, using that little connector table.